Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest has penned hits for vocal powerhouses like Gladys Knight, Patti LaBelle, and she's earned six mm. Grammy nominations as a solo artist with her own amazing gifts. My God, now with seven solo albums and 10 Billboard chart-topping singles behind mm. her, she's back in the studio, yay, working on a new project. Please welcome down to the circle, the one and it's only, Ann Nesby. Yes. Yes. Thank you, thank Ms. you. Miss Ann, you just look beautiful today. Thank you so much. I'm telling you, you're so sharp out here. I don't know what these people are going to do with you. You're just so fine sitting here on this couch. And, and, and not only are you that, you're one of my favorite singers of all time. Oh, thank I just you, absolutely Selena. love your voice and spirit. You're a singer, songstress, um, I mean, a singer, songwriter, actress, and amazing cook mm. as well. Is there anything that you cannot do, Miss Ann? Well, I love to cook. And I know that I got that from my mother. Mm -hmm. Country family, um, Cajun blood, so mm -hmm. uh, I have to do all that. My father's family, New Orleans, mm -hmm. and so I have to do all the gumbos mm -hmm. and the greens and mm. cornbread and black eyed peas. So. Mm. Everything in you got to come out. Right. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> you have a you have a casserole that you're trying to get on shelves in stores right now. I do. Oh, I that's do. Gonna be good. And in fact, it's going to be going into um, one of the Chicago school systems. Oh. Uh, it's called the Miss Ann Soulful Casserole. Oh. And it's a whole meal in a pan Ooh. with black eyed peas. Mm. Oh wow. Uh, turkey. Mm. And I wanted to have everything, trying to cook something for my boys before I went to the studio. Mm. And I wanted them to have a balanced all meal. All of the food oh, groups. So right. I gave all the food groups in one pan, and they felt like it would be a good hit for oh, that's awesome. commercial and uh, yes. giving them a whole meal. Yes, mm. that's so funny. Yeah, did, you, did you bring us a sample? I did it, but you know what? I'll bring it to you next time. Oh, sounds yes. like a friend. I mean, I like next time. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. well, well, speaking of hits, you've worked with the who's who of both gospel mm -hmm. and secular. And yes. my question is this: Okay, who was your favorite collaboration, and who have you have yet to work with that you would like to work with, outside of me? I'll tell exactly. you. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I'll tell you. Um, I think one of my favorite collaborations was with Luther Vandross. Ooh, yes. And um, and on, then on the gospel side, I'd have to say, uh, Mother Shirley Caesar. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Uh, we Come collaborated in Fighting Temptations. Yes, ma'am. And uh, with Luther, I collaborated with him. We came back off the uh, Power of Love tour mm -hmm. uh, with Luther and Sinbad. So um, I've been blessed. Mm. Uh, I can say that I've had an opportunity to work with so many. I missed having an opportunity to work with the Queen of Soul, who was mm -hmm. one of my favorites. Yes, uh, but I definitely, I definitely look forward to uh, work. Well, actually, working with uh, a young group of women because I want to uh, redo some of the older songs mm. that really uh, brought in thoughtful and thought-provoking and um, uh, loving songs. Because when I write, I write the message of love. Mm -hmm. Even though the music changes, mm -hmm. I try to keep the message. The so yes. I, have a, I have an idea in mind to have uh, young women like you <laughs> to come on and uh, do songs mm -hmm. that our grandmother sang. Yes. And to understand where the music really derived yes. from with a new with a new, uh, the same message with a new beat. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma yes, so ma I'm looking forward to doing that right now. And speaking of positive lyrics and lyrics of love, Sounds of Blackness, mm. one of my favorite groups. Um, talk you. to us about how that was incorporated um, and who was behind it, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. Um, yes. Talk to us about how that came about, how you became a part of Sounds of Blackness. Absolutely. I was doing theater with um, uh, Donald Lawrence, mm. um, just coming off Broadway. Uh, doing a show called uh, Sing Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I finished that, I decided I was gonna move to Atlanta. And um, I never had a fur coat. And then God blessed me with a fur coat. Mm -hmm. Won't he do it? And, he's, and I said, Lord, I don't need no fur coat in Atlanta. He said, but you will in Minnesota. Oh, wow. So, <laughs> I was visiting my sister there in Atlanta and I knew Gary Hines, mm -hmm. had been family friends with him for years. And uh, they were in the midst of doing uh, the Christmas show that we went on to sing and garner a Grammy for. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, when I came in the rehearsal, Gary said, this is one of our friends. She's going to stand in for the mother's role. Stand in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what he thought. I stood in and I sang. And he said, 
the rest is history. Here's Sounds of Blackness. Did the show, wow. Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, who have always been a part of the Sounds of Blackness mm -hmm. family, as Sounds of Blackness would be the opening song that sang mm -hmm. the national anthem, the black national anthem for affairs in the community, mm -hmm. and Flight Time would be the party band afterwards. Mm -hmm. So when Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis had an opportunity to do their own uh, label, mm -hmm. uh, Sounds of Blackness was the first project they released mm. uh, because they wanted to glorify God for giving mm. them yes. that great opportunity. Yes. And I just happened to be in the mix, being in the right place at the right time. Look at God. You were the right woman <laughs> yes. for the job, too, I tell you. <laughs> Thank Speaking you. of, you are working on a new project. You're honoring a uh, musical genius, uh, yes. Mr. Big Jim Wright. Absolutely. Uh, so tell us about your this new Get Ready album. Absolutely. Big Jim Wright, um, for those of you that know him or remember him, yeah. Uh, no, he was a fun-loving, very, very talented genius. Mm -hmm. um, Big Jim and I were writing partners, writing for Patti LaBelle, Sounds of Blackness, uh, Gladys Knight. Uh, we were doing a project. He wanted to do a project for me, reminiscent to my very first solo project okay. with Jim Jam and Terry Lewis. Mm -hmm. um, but untimely, his untimely passing mm -hmm. in uh, September, we were finished with the project with the exception of me putting my vocals on and maybe a few horn things. So I decided to go on and finish this project oh, nice. and to allow people to understand that he was more than just a musician. Yes. He was a producer. Uh, he was producing for Mariah Carey mm -hmm. and so many others. He would produce the television show, Monique, mm -hmm. uh, Sunday Best. Mm. And uh, we wanted to carry on the legacy of Big Jim Wright. And I wanted to finish the songs that he wrote because they're so prolific and they deal with such an element of the social times that we're going through right now, yes. especially the one song entitled Get Ready. Mm. And uh, it matches right into what we've done with Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, mm -hmm. volume one, mm -hmm. and doing um, Heaven Must Be Like This, mm -hmm. uh, Jimmy Jam, and they were able to capture Big Jim's voice along with Lauren Evan. Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis are going to do a volume of records with megastar mm. artist. Well, Miss Ann, we are so happy that you came here Thank to you. Sister Circle. You Thank are you. always welcome, of course, and just legendary. Thank you so much. Thank and to keep you. up with Miss Ann and find out where she'll be next, follow her on Instagram at Ann Nesby.